Has described that mall scene as pure mayhem there. The man crashing into the Macy's and then running into Bertucci's to continue his stabbing spree. Ken McLeod spoke with a terrified couple who witnessed all of it, and he's live in Taunton now. Ken? Paula, Alex and his girlfriend Jen have been to this mall countless times for all sorts of stuff. But tonight's trip is something that the teenagers will never forget. And the tip off for trouble was actually in the bushes. Alex Mace and Jen Bro had just arrived at the mall to get her nails done when they spotted a young girl cowering in the bushes outside Bertucci's. She wasn't really crying. She was just, you could tell she was scared for her life. She was kind of hiding behind a bush, like with her head down and everything. And we were asking her, like, do you want to get in the car? You know, like, are you okay? She saw a guy walk in with it and he, like, grabbed a chair to, like, um, hurt one of the waitresses and then he, she saw um, him stab the waitress. It wasn't long before the little girl's story was validated by families fleeing the mall in obvious distress. They were all like kind of crying and like just in a panic. Just they looked like they were just panicking. They were running to the car, and I heard one of the little girls say, "Unlock it! Unlock the car! Let's go! Let's go!" With his gun drawn, the first arriving officer quickly asked Alex and Jen what they knew, and then charged inside. I heard him yell, "Get on the ground! Get on the ground!" So I think the guy may have uh, maybe been running through the mall. Minutes passed, and reinforcements with rifles had gone inside when this couple heard what was likely the suspect's encounter with that off-duty sheriff. Deputy. I heard about five gunshots pop off, so I looked to her and I said, like, we gotta get out of here. And get out they did, with the image of that little girl's face stuck in their heads. I was just kind of like focusing on the little girl, making sure she was okay, and then I was just like, like really scared for everyone inside, you know what I mean? Now, the little girl told that teenage couple that her mom was still inside Bertucci's. We don't know her fate at this point. When we interviewed Alex and Jen, they still did not know that the suspect and two of his victims have been killed. Now, that little girl's frightened face is likely to haunt that teenage couple for a long, long time. Live in Taunton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Liam and Paula, back to you. All right, Ken, thanks so much.